Lucinda, no, you can't just do this. It's rude. <laughs> Weren't you the one who said, if you're so curious, Lucinda, you should just go and ask her? Yes, but it was just a figure of speech. Hmm, <laughs> good dancer. Sweetheart, you're talking to Lucinda. I pride myself in being honest to a fault and straightforward. Really now? You weren't saying that when you cheated at air hockey on the Valentine's Day date. C caitlin where'd you come from? Um, this is my house too, you know. I live here. Oh, alright. <clears throat> anyway, I didn't cheat at the air hockey game. I think you were just blown away by how amazing I was at the game. <laughs> I don't believe you. Hmm. I don't need to explain myself to you, Caitlin. You haven't even hung out with me since I've been back in town. All right, ladies, let's remember we're all friends here. I thought you guys left this little quarrel way back in high school. Cadenza. <laughs> it's called friendly competition? Exactly. I love Caitlin no matter what. But that ain't gonna stop me from schooling her at air hockey. <laughs> right. Even though Lucinda cheated. Oh, for the last time, I didn't cheat! Fight me then! If this is friendly competition, I don't want to know what enemy competition is. Though you two have always been pretty hardcore about fighting. Anyway, Lucinda, can you just ask Aphmau your question so we can go back and finish watching The Walking Dead? As soon as Caitlin gets out of my way, then yes. Wait, what question do you want to ask Aphmau? I want to know about her and Aaron. Oh, I swear they're dating. You can't not notice them the way they act. Mm -hmm. There's a part of me that knows better than to interfere. But at the same time, I really want to know as well. How do you plan to ask her? I'm just going to straight up ask her. Pfft. I'd like to see you try to get a straight answer from her. Is that a challenge? Because I'd wipe the floor with you on getting information from Aphmau. Ladies, please. Bring it! Whoever can get Aphmau to say if she does or does not have feelings for Eren wins. Hmm, sounds fun, but also a bit boring. How about... Whoever gets more details about their relationship wins. Getting her to admit it is just icing on the cake. Deal! This is going to end terribly. I can already feel it. Mother of Irene, Caitlin, you scared me! Uh, what did I tell you about knocking? Oh, Caitlin, how barbaric! Busting into Aphmau's room unannounced. B b b b d you made me! Tisk, tisk, Caitlin. Oh, Aphmau, you poor sweetheart. Come here and let Lucinda hold you. <laughs> Lucinda, I'm not. Uh Lucinda, I know what you're doing! Shh, Afmo, it's okay. Now tell Mama Lucinda all about how you feel. Especially how you feel about Aaron. Well, I feel kind of intruded on. <laughs> Aside from that, I'm a little hungry. Uh, but wait, 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 what was the second thing? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> Smooth, Lucinda. Uh, jealous I'm holding Afmo, Caitlin? What? N no! Mm-hmm. You know, if you want a hug, you just have to ask her. Uh, shut up! Okay, Lucinda. Caitlin, what is going on? I haven't seen you two act like this in years. Aphmau, sweetheart, I have a question for you. Uh, okay? So, you had a good time with Aaron at the Valentine's Day date, did you not? Uh, what? Why are you bringing that up? I'm just curious. You two are acting kind of lovey-dovey at the dinner. Uh, yeah, but at the arcade, she wanted to rip his head off. I saw her and him at the racing game. Oh, Caitlin, that's because Aphmau here has a bit of an anger problem as well. Lucinda! Trust me. I know how you get when it comes to competitive sports and video games. <laughs> Not to mention she gets full of herself when she wins. Uh, what? 
Oh, I know! Remember that time she won at Mario Kart almost every round? <laughs> then the next day she was like, Last cupcake in the house? Well, don't mind if I do because only winners can have last cupcakes! <laughs> okay, girls! Alright, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, Athma, we're just teasing you. Mm-hmm. Seriously, though. Caitlin, that was just Afmal getting competitive. We all know she doesn't get like that unless she's very close to the person she's getting competitive with. <laughs> Plus, I'm talking about dinner. You didn't notice the time she basically spoon-fed Aaron? <gasps> what? How could you miss that? It was pretty darn obvious. It didn't happen too often, but I saw it. Uh, how did I miss that? Well, Travis was in your face trying to get a kiss. Oh yeah, then there was Kawaii-chan I was sitting next to who wouldn't shut up about Reese. It didn't happen often, but I saw what was going on. Afmal especially if you paid attention to Garth and Lawrence who were pretty much gritting their teeth. Uh, Lucinda! Caitlin, get to the point. Afmal, are you and Aaron dating? Uh, uh, uh. Well, <sighs> hmm, I might have been too straightforward in my approach. <laughs> what did you just say, Lucinda? Uh, uh, um, I need to remove Caitlin from the situation. Lucinda, what did you do? Lucinda? Afmal, why don't you come over to my house? I'd like to talk with you alone. But Afmal, don't do it. I need to talk to you first in order to win this silencio. What? Uh, wait. What? Uh, come on, Afmal. Let's go. Uh, what, Lucinda? Let go of my hand. I'm sorry about that, Afmal. I know Caitlyn can be a bit of a brute from time to time. <laughs> well, you yourself aren't any better with those spells. <laughs> Maybe, but let's put this let's put it this way. At least when I get angry, I can keep my composure. <laughs> well, I'll give you that. So, Lucinda. Why were you and Caitlin asking me so many questions about Aaron? It's really none of your business. Afmal, I'm going to be forward with you. You know I'm a witch. It's in my nature to question everything from aspects of nature to human behavior. Your relationship with Aaron has recently become the center of my attention, aside from my usual studies. <laughs> okay? I want to know... Are you and Aaron dating? No, we are not. Are you interested in him? Uh, uh, um. Blushing beet red, I see. That means you are. So? I mean, a half mouth. It's just... He never talks to anyone. I've never seen him be social before the Valentine's date, and honestly, I was shocked to see him talking a lot during that. What do you see in him? How did you guys meet, and what do you do together? <laughs> How do you even know he wasn't social, Lucinda? You just got into down two weeks ago. I've asked around. Lucinda! So come on. Spill the beans. Mm. Or if you don't want to, you can always just tell me what you guys do when you hang out. Or why you even have an interest in him. To be honest, Lawrence or Garth seem like a better fit for you. Heck, even Travis. Maybe even Dante? Or what about, I can't believe I'm even saying this, Zane? 
Lucinda. I'm just saying. <laughs> Lucinda. If you're really that curious, then... <sighs> fine. I've known Aaron for a long time. Longer than you might realize. He doesn't say much to people he doesn't know very well. But he does talk a lot when we're alone. About... Well, for example, <laughs> there was this one time when I was just completely obsessed with Frozen and all I could talk about for days was just that. Even though he doesn't like Frozen himself, he managed to put up with my constant fangirling and <laughs> even tried to sing the Love is an Open Door duet with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me, he sings? <laughs> yes, horribly, but... He sings. I mean, it's crazy! What? We finish each other's... Sentences? No, Aaron! It's sandwiches! Hmm. Sandwiches sound pretty good right about now. I'm gonna go make one. Aaron, get back here and finish this duet! <laughs> You're kidding me! Did he actually finish the song? <laughs> we did. But only when I put the subtitles on. That's hilarious. I never imagined him to do that kind of thing. <laughs> He's always done silly things. Aaron, thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> no, really, don't mention it. I still don't know why you want to fix the sleeves. Look, I'm not a big fan of long sleeves on dresses. Plus, Cadenza is busy with the other costumes, and you're the only one around to help me. <sighs> you're lucky I care about you. <laughs> Aw, Aaron, don't you feel pretty? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what are you smiling at? <laughs> Nothing, just thinking about something he said not to mention. <laughs> hmm, so I think I get it. There's just another side to Aaron that we haven't seen yet. So, now for my big question. Are you two... Linda, I'm gonna hurt you so good for using magic on me! I've told you how I felt about that! Get ready to fight me! Bring it. You aren't going to get anywhere near me. If you use your spells on me one more time... I won't use any spells on you. Bring it, Caitlin. Yeah! Traviska. Oh, what the... Where am I? I was just about to take a shower and... <sighs> hey, Caitlin. What? D Travis? Lucinda, you said... I said I wasn't going to use any spells on you. You said nothing about a teleportation spell. Oh, and don't bother to smack Travis. I put a temporary spell on him to prevent physical injury. Are you kidding me? Yes! Come here, Caitlin! Duh! I'll get you, Lucinda! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Travis will get that kiss after all. 